With this video tutorial, you will learn how to crochet beanie head with sleeve pattern. Also, I will show you how to make the crown for this unusual head. We divide our work on some parts, brim part, body part with 3D leaf pattern and crown. You can wear it in this way or you can add a pompon on the crown. Let's begin the work. To start the head by making a chain of 88. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. six, seven, eight, and so on. You should crochet loosely the foundation chain. After we have done the foundation chain made of 88 chains, I insert the hook into the first chain stitch, but before you should check that the foundation chain don't be twisted and make a slip stitch into the first chain stitch. Begin the first round. It is going to be a brim part. Make chain through to bring up the yarn and double crochet into the each chain stitch of the foundation chain. So continue working in this way till the end of this round. I'm about to complete the first round. Insert the hook into the third chain stitch by working a slip stitch. Round 1 is done. Let's begin round 2. For this back post single crochet, chain 2 to bring up the yarn and back post double crochet around the next stitch. We skip the next stitch, make front post double crochet around the second stitch, yarn over the hook and make front post double crochet around the stitch that was skipped. Here what we have and we continue two back post double crochet in a row one two yarn over the hook we skip the next stitch and front post double crochet around the second stitch and make front post double crochet around the stitch that was skipped. Two back post double crochet in a row. One. Two. Pattern consists of four stitches. So continue working in this way till the end of this round. I'm about to complete the second round. Insert the hook into the second chain stitch in the beginning of this round by working a slip stitch. Round is done. Begin round three. For this back post single crochet, chain 2 to bring up the yarn, back post double crochet around the next stitch, make 
make front post double crochet around the next stitch and make the second front post around the next stitch two back post double crochet in a row then two front post double crochet in a row two back post double crochet So continue working in this way till the end of this round. I'm about to complete round 3. Work a slip stitch into the second chain stitch at the beginning of this round. Round 3 of the brim is ready. We have done 3 rounds of the brim. Let's count 1, 2, 3. Pattern repeats 2 rounds. In this case, this is the second and the third round. So continue working in this way as many times as you need. And pattern has four stitches. I have done the pattern as many times as I needed. Let's count. One, two, three, four, five rounds in my case. It is a little bit stretchy. Now I'm going to make the main pattern. It is going to be a leaf pattern. Make back post single crochet, chain two to bring up the yarn. Yarn over the hook and make front post double crochet around the next stitch. Yarn over the hook. Continue with double crochet. We skip the next stitch and front post double crochet around the second stitch and front post double crochet around the stitch that was skipped. Make double crochet into the next stitch make front post double crochet around the next stitch back post double crochet one and make the second back post double crochet around the next stitch and the third one around the next stitch four in total it should be four of them Make front post double crochet, then double crochet. We skip the next stitch and front post double crochet around the second stitch, and front post double crochet around the stitch that was skipped. Continue with double crochet. Continue front post double crochet and four back post double crochet in a row. One, two, three, and four. Then you should continue by yourself. Continue working in this way till the end of this round. I'm about to complete the first round of the main pattern. Work with a slip stitch into the second chain stitch in the beginning of this round. Mm. 
Before we continue, we stop at this point and look. The pattern consists of 8 stitches. In total, pattern should repeat 11 times. And let's begin the second round of the main pattern. Back post single crochet, chain 2, front post double crochet, then front post double crochet around the next stitch, then double crochet, Make front post double crochet around the next stitch. Continue front post double crochet around the next stitch. Continue with double crochet, make double crochet between stitches. And two front post double crochet in a row. Then four back post double crochet stitches in a row. One, two, three, four, let's repeat the main pattern. Two front post double crochet in a row, then double crochet between the stitches, two front post double crochet in a row, double crochet, and two front post double crochet in a row, one and two. Four back post double crochet in a row. I did one. Then you should continue by yourself. Continue working in this way till the end of this round. I'm about to complete the second round of the main pattern. Insert the hook into the second chain stitch by working a slip stitch. Round two is done. Let's begin the third round of the main pattern, back post single crochet, chain 2 to bring up the yarn, let's make front post double crochet, 1, 2, 3, double crochet, We skip the next stitch and front post double crochet around the second stitch and front post double crochet around the stitch that was skipped. Continue double crochet and three front post in row one, two, three. Let's stop and look what we have at our pattern. This is the middle of the our leaf pattern. As you can see I add as you can see I did double crochet before this middle and after it and continue working on the pattern. Four back post double crochet in a row. One, two, three, and four. Let's make leaf pattern. Three front post double crochet. One, two, 
three, make double crochet, then yarn over with skip the next stitch and front post double crochet around the second stitch and front post double crochet around the stitch that was skipped. Around the net. Continue with the double crochet. Then three front post in a row. One, two, three. So continue working this way till the end of this round. I'm about to complete the third round of the main pattern. Work a slip stitch into the second chain stitch on the beginning of this round. Round three of the leaf pattern is done. Begin round four. For this make back post single crochet. Chain two to bring up the yarn. Make front post double crochet. Let's count one, two, three, four. Now double crochet. Two front post double crochet in a row. Then double crochet and four front post double crochet in a row one two three and four make back post double crochet into the each of next four stitches one two three and four. So continue working in this way till the end of this round. We continue working on the leaf pattern. Let's complete the fourth round of the main pattern. Work a slip stitch into the second chain stitch on the beginning of this round. Round four is made. To start round five, make back post single crochet. Chain two to bring up the yarn. Yarn over the hook, make front post double crochet not finish, make the second front post double crochet not finish and pull through all loops on the hook. Then front post double crochet in row 1, 2, 3, We we'll skip this stitch and front post double crochet around the second stitch and front post double crochet around the stitch that was skipped. Here what we have. Make three front post double crochet one, two, and three. Make front post double crochet two together. Make the first one not finish. Make the second one not finish. And pull through all loops on the hook. Make four back post double crochet. One, Two, three, 
and 4. Let's make the leaf pattern one more time. Front pose, double crochet, two together, one. Make the second one and pull through. Three front pose, double crochet in a row, one. Two. Three. Then front pose, double crochet around the second stitch and front pose, double crochet around the first stitch that was skipped. Three front post double crochet in a row. And front post double crochet two together one. Make the second one and pull through. So continue working in this way till the end of this round. Let's complete the fifth round together. Work a slip stitch into the second chain stitch at the beginning of this round. Round 5 is done. Before we continue, let's stop and look at our pattern. Here what we have, I remind you we have done 5 rounds of the main pattern. I remind you, in this head should be 11 leaves. Let's continue the work. Begin the 6th round of the main pattern. Make back post single crochet, chain 2 to bring up the yarn. Make front post double crochet 2 together. Make the first one not finish, make the second one not finish, and pull through. Front post double crochet, let's count one, two, and two front post double crochet in a row. One, two, two front posts in a row, and front post double crochet two together. First one, make the second one, and pull through. Four back post double crochet in a row. One. Two, three, and four. Continue working this way till the end of this round. I'm about to complete round six. Work a slip stitch into the second chain stitch at the beginning of this round. Round is done. Let's begin round 7. For this back post single crochet, chain 2 to bring up the yarn, and front post double crochet 2 together. Make the first one, make the second one and pull through all loops on the hook. Continue front post double crochet in a row. Then we skip the next stitch and front post double crochet around the second stitch. And now front post double crochet around the stitch that was skipped. Front post double crochet and front post double crochet two together. Make the first one, the second one and pull through. Make back post double crochet into the each of next four stitches one, two, three, and four. 
So continue working in this way till the end of this round. Let's complete the seventh round together. Work a slip stitch into the second chain stitch on the beginning of this round. Round seven is ready. Begin round eight. Back post single crochet chain two to bring up the yarn. Front post double crochet not finish make the second front post double crochet not finish and pull through all loops on the hook two front post double crochet in a row one two and front post double crochet two together first one make the second one and pull through four back post double crochet one two three and four continue working in this way till the end of this round let's complete round eight work a slip stitch into the second chain stitch at the beginning of this round Round eight is done. Begin round nine. Back post single crochet chain two to bring up the yarn. Make front post double crochet. Then front post double crochet around the second stitch and front post double crochet around the stitch that was skipped. Make front post double crochet around the next stitch. Four back post double crochet, one, two, three, four. So continue working in this way till the end of this round. Let's complete round nine. Work a slip stitch into the second chain stitch. Round nine is done. Begin the tenth round. Make back post single crochet, chain two to bring up the yarn, yarn over the hook. Make front post double crochet not finish, then front post double crochet not finish around the next stitch. We have three loops on the hook and pull through. Then front post double crochet two together. First one, make the second one and pull through. Four back post double crochet in a row. One, two, three, and four. Continue working in this way till the end of this round. I'm about to complete round ten. Work a slip stitch into the second chain stitch. Round 10 is ready. Let's begin 11th round. Make back post single crochet, chain 2 to bring up the yarn. Then yarn over the hook. We we'll skip the next stitch and insert the hook around the second one by working front post double crochet 
and now work with the stitch that was skipped. Make front post double crochet. Here what we have. Four back post double crochet. One, two, three, four. Then work with the second stitch, make front post double crochet and front post double crochet around the stitch that was skipped. Four back post double crochet in a row. One, two, and so on. Continue working this way till the end of this round. Let's complete the 11th round of the main pattern. Now work a slip stitch into the second chain stitch. Round is done. Let's stop and look at our leaf pattern. Here how it looks. Then I will begin the next round and you should continue by yourself. Begin the 12th round, make back post, single crochet, chain 2 to bring up the yarn, make 2 front post double crochet in a row, then you should continue making this middle pattern as many times as you need it. Then four back post, double crochet, two front post double crochet in a row, one, and two and four back post and so on. Then you should make in the same way as I did in the previous round and so on. So continue working in this way as many times as you need. I have done this pattern as many times as I needed. Now I measure it. It is 16 centimeters. At this point I'm going to make the crown. Let's begin the first round of the crown. Make back post single crochet. Chain two to bring up the yarn. We skip this stitch and make front post double crochet and front post double crochet around the stitch that was skipped. Make back post double crochet two together. Make the first one not finish, make the second not finish and pull through all loops on the hook. Make the first one not finish, make the second one not finish and pull through all loops on the hook. We skip the next stitch and make front post double crochet around the second stitch and front post double crochet around the stitch that was skipped. Then you should make two back post double crochet two together. Let's complete this round together. Make back post double crochet not finish 
Then insert the hook into the second chain stitch. Take the working yarn, pull it through. The round is made. Begin round two of the crown. Make back post single crochet, chain two to bring up the yarn. Make two front post double crochet in a row. Make back post double crochet two together. For first one. The second one and pull through all loops on the hook. Make two front posts double crochet in a row. Now back post double crochet two together. Make the first one. Make the second one and pull through. So continue working in this way till the end of this round. I'm about to complete round two of the crown. Now yarn over the hook. Make back post double crochet not finish. Then insert the hook into the second chain stitch at the beginning of this round, take the working yarn, pull it through. Round two is done. Begin round three of the crown. For this back post single crochet, chain two to bring up the yarn, yarn over the hook, make front post and back post together, make the front post double crochet not finish. Make the second front post double crochet not finish. Then make back post double crochet not finish. And pull through all loops on the hook. Make the first front post double crochet not finish. Make the second front post double crochet not finish. Make back post double crochet not finish. And pull through all loops on the hook. So continue working in this way till the end of this round. I'm about to complete round three of the crown. Here how it looks at this point. We have a middle hole. Now continue working with crown. Make front post double crochet not finish. Make the second front post double crochet not finish. Then insert the hook into the second chain stitch. Take the working yarn, pull it through. Round three is made. Let's make the last round of the crown for this. Now I'm going to make with front post double crochet stitches of the previous round. Make front post single crochet, then chain to bring up the yarn. Make front post double crochet around the front post double crochet. Continue front post double crochet, not finish around the front post double crochet. Make the second front post double crochet around the next front post double crochet of the previous round. And pull through. Now front post double crochet not finish. Make the second front post double crochet not finish. And pull through all loops on the hook. Continue working in this way till the end of this round. To complete the fourth round 
yarn over the hook insert the hook around the front post double crochet make front post double crochet not finish now insert the hook into the front post take the working yarn pull it through round is made and the crown is almost ready you can cut off this yarn but you need to leave a bigger piece of thread to sew this small hole as you can see this is the back side of the head now work with a needle with the needle go through the stitches around the hole with the needle go through the stitches with the needle go through the stitches The crown is made. Here how it looks. For more beautiful look, I'm going to make reverse single crochet trim around the foundation chain. Take the crochet hook and yarn. Insert the hook into the any stitch. Take the working yarn, pull it through. Make a chain and make reverse single crochet into the each chain stitch of the foundation chain Continue working in this way till the end of this round. I am about to complete this round of reverse single crochet trim. Make the last reverse single crochet. Remove the hook, insert it into the first reverse single crochet, take the working loop, pull it through. And I have already cut off the yarn and reverse single crochet trim is ready. The beautiful beanie hat is ready. With this video tutorial you have learned how to make beautiful beanie hat with 3D leaf pattern. Let's measure this hat. The height of the hat is 18.5 to 19 centimeters. The head is perfect for from 52 to 56 centimeters of head circumference. I remind you, you can wear it in this way or you can decorate it with pompon. This is the second example of pompon. Please don't miss new video tutorials on our YouTube channel. Thanks for watching.